Hey folks, Jeff Hall, David Turner Outfitters here again, and want to talk to you a little bit about tying simple winter stoneflies. It's late February. Winter stoneflies are at the top of the dry fly menu right now. It's actually one of the better hatches that we have in Western North Carolina. And so I thought we'd just tie a quick little foam and elk hair winter stone. Um, tying it on a size 20. 3x long natural bend. Gonna use some 12 aught black Vivas thread so we don't get too crowded here on our little hook. So just want to tie on, end up about a third of the way back from the hook eye. Gonna tie in some black ultra wire for a rib and reinforcement. We're gonna wrap over that with our thread right back to the barb. Of the hook and then come back forward and then we're going to put our foam on there this is razor foam cut into a thin strip and we're just gonna tie that in kind of forward wrap over it with our thread right back here to where our wires hanging out at come back forward with your thread Here's the thing, we're going to put a little bit of super glue on this. But this foam is brittle. And I'll be amazed if I'm able to wrap it all the way back up to my thread without breaking it. Seems like sometimes I have a hard time with this stuff. But, go ahead and bring your foam forward. Just a little bit of tension on it is all you need. Nice and easy. Really beware of that hook point. That thing will get you. Kind of just edge to edge. Right on up. Tie it off. And then trim. You have a nice foam body there. Now counter wrap your, your ultra wire. Little thread hanging out there. up nice and even not in love with that wrap I like that one better I tend to mumble a lot when I tie flies by myself tie off your ultra wire break it off be careful with that size 20 hook not to bend it and break good and kind of clean that up right in there. Now we want to throw on an underwing to make this thing a little bit more attractive. Let's come in here and grab some of this sparkle organza. Fray off a little bit there. Grab a few strands. Trim them off. Fold them over your thread. Wrap them right to the top of the hook shank, like so. And then trim. That just gives you, gonna give you a nice sparkly underwing. Make it stand out. Now we're gonna take some elk hair. And we don't need a ton. This is a foam bodied fly. Just enough. Get a guesstimation, kind of clean out some under fur there, drop it into our stacker, stack it, pull your stacker apart, that one wasn't perfect, got a stray in there, pull your stacker apart, take your elk hair out, so now we're just going to lay this right on top. Slightly longer than our underwing. We're going to come around once, twice, and on our third, we're going to pull up. Make that flare. A couple more wraps. Get it locked down there. A few wraps in front. This is a great spot to throw in a whip finish. Just like an easy, like, one or two turn whip finish. A placeholder, as I'll call it. Now, hopefully you guys can see this. 
We're gonna grab all these butts here. We're gonna come in here and trim this at an angle like that. Looking good, got a little flat top on there. Then come around and whip finish again. Like that. Trim your thread. Roll this guy over. Or gal. Could be either or. And then we're gonna put a little bit of varnish right there on those threads. Get rid of that little where you got there. That's it. That's a simple foam winter stone. Tie a bunch of them.